huge trucks bearing containers are a common sight on our roads. They are so commonplace that we barely notice them anymore. But it is a fact that these containers have revolutionized global cargo transport. They have contributed immensely in the fast-paced development of shipping, port operations, inland goods transport, and even the advancement of economies of various countries. In this video, let's understand how containerization changed the world. Above all, we'll see how India's ambitious plan to connect the ports Sagar Mahala and dedicated freight corridor would help the economy of our nation. Imagine you have ordered an iPhone from an e-commerce site such as Flipkart or Amazon. Once the order is placed, they identify the warehouse nearest to you from where the phone will be shipped to you. Sounds simple, right? But how did the phone reach the warehouse in the first place? It is the long journey that starts with the loading of these phones onto containers from factories in China or Taiwan. Containers of two main sizes are prevalent these days, one that are 20 foot long and 40 foot long. Around 21,000 iPhones can be loaded into a 20 foot long container in a matter of just a few hours. From the factory, the containers arrive at the port via road or rail. The port authorities take note of essential information such as the contents of the container, the sender, the receiver and so on. With the help of cranes, the containers are then lifted onto the ships where they are held in place with the assistance of cargo holds. The holds are made in such a way that it fits a 40-foot container or two 20-foot long containers in each row. Since ships usually dock at more than one port on its journey, the containers are arranged keeping in mind the ease of unloading at each port. On average, this entire process of loading and unloading a ship with container take about 36 hours. This is an impressive feat keeping in mind that cargo movement was nowhere as easy as it is today until a few decades back. Earlier, goods were packed in sacks or barrels. Loading these into vehicles that transport them to ports and from there to ships required a lot of time. So much so that if a cargo ship had to travel for a month to reach its destination, the loading and unloading process would take another two weeks each. And since these activities were labor-intensive, the cost was also very high. But containers completely changed the game. Given that mechanized loading and arranging of the containers is now possible, the overall time required has reduced drastically. This in turn has reduced costs and as a result, container shipping has exploded. Today, over 80% of cargo transport around the world happens via sea. The lowest cost of sea freight is what makes it so attractive. Though air freight ensures speedy delivery, it is also extremely costly. When it comes to cost and speed, road and rail transport lie somewhere between these two. But sea freight is always preferred when large volume of goods need to be transported over long distances to remote locations across the globe. Also, given that once the ship leaves the port, they hardly face any obstacles such as traffic and they can freely travel day and night. As container ships become popular throughout the world, the focus shifted to how the cost could be reduced even further. This led to the construction of bigger ships. This is because even when you double the size of the ship, the cost of manufacture and operation does not increase proportionately. For this reason, the race is on to build the largest container ship in the world. Hyundai's LG Series class is the world's largest container ship today. It was jointly manufactured by South Korea's Samsung and Daewoo and we can hold as much as 24,000 containers at a time. The ship is approximately 400 meters long, 61 meters wide and has a draft of 16 meter. This massive ship is powered by a 1 lakh horsepower engine. The engine itself is as tall as a three-storied building. If all the containers at capacity is arranged in a line, it would be over 100 kilometers in length. The maximum capacity of the ship is 2 lakh tons. The ship is so big that if we fill up all the containers with wheat, that would be more than enough to feed the entire Indian population for a day. Unfortunately, 
Not a single port in India has the capacity to accommodate such a huge ship today. Even our largest ports can only handle ships up to a maximum capacity of 15,000 containers. Thus, it became necessary for mother ships carrying goods to India to dock at nearby countries and move the container to smaller ships before they are transported to Indian ports. Currently, over one third of goods transported to India comes via port in UAE, Oman, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Singapore, with Colombo port being the most important. Apart from the inability to dock mother ships, there is also the concern that Indian ports are highly inefficient. While an Indian port requires an average of 36 hours to process a container ship, it takes advanced ports in countries like Dubai, Singapore, and China less than one third that time. The longer the ship stays in the port, the higher the costs incurred. Today, a container that is loading or unloading at an Indian port incurs an average cost of $1,200. At China and Singapore, this is just $600 and $400 respectively. This has its implications. For instance, imagine that India can manufacture a product at a lower cost than China. But we will still lose the order given that exporting from India would be costlier. This affects Indian businesses drastically. The issue can only be solved by making Indian ports more efficient. Our ports must be overhauled and modernized to handle huge motherships. The Sagar Mala project by the Government of India intends to achieve precisely this. With this project, Several mega ports would be created that can streamline shipping by making use of our vast coastline. It also intends to create several transshipment terminals that allow the transfer of goods from mother ships to smaller ships. It is equally important to have efficient rail and road networks that connect the port to industrial and residential hubs. Though railways is supposedly the most efficient mode of transport through land, we need to ensure reliable goods train services to accomplish this. Not only is our railway network outdated, the same track is mostly used for goods and passenger trains. Transporting humans are always given preference over goods, and this adds huge delays in delivery of goods. This is where the dedicated freight corridor comes into picture. These corridors connect ports to distant cities, mines, and warehouses. With efficient ports and faster goods trains, Cargo can reach everywhere in India very efficiently. Not only does it help faster delivery of goods to us, but also would result in increased exports and thereby national growth. There is absolutely no doubt that India still lags behind the developed countries in terms of basic infrastructure. Sagar Mala and freight corridor projects can completely transform the economy of India. Unfortunately, most people of our nation are almost completely unaware how important these projects are to the future of this country. What we must do is to set aside our varied ideological, religious and political differences and support these projects for future of our own country. Jai Hind.